If you need Madden 21 coins for anything, make sure to go to buymuttcoins.com. It's cheap and reliable, and my code MMG is 20% off. Hello? Yes, I'm dialed in. Okay. <laughs> and the Lord said unto Papa Meeks, Papa Meeks, I bless you with the ability to take your ninety overall. We love Mutt, the Semper Squadron. Take this shit to the Super Bowl and get this done. I won't let you down, my father. I gotta, I gotta pull out the brow for this one, baby. I gotta pull it out. It's NFC Championship time. Let's go! Have you ever been more ready for a wheel of up, baby? There's no way I'm losing this. There's literally no way I'm losing this, dude. We are one game away from getting a brand new prestige player. Right now, if I do make the Super Bowl, my prestige player I'm thinking is gonna be Dalvin Cook. I've tried to push off prestiging anyone in my backfield as long as possible. I imagine Dalvin Cook's gonna get like a team of the year card or something. He's playing so good. Him or Derrick Henry. I guess we'll see. It could also technically be Kamara. But I feel really good about Dalvin Cook. Now the reason I don't like prestiging the backfield so early is because usually when I prestige the backfield, like it stays that player for a very long time. For example, if I prestige Josh Allen, that would be the quarterback for the next like 40 episodes at least. And I don't necessarily want to do that. I think it's fun to mix it up. But if I go back to having a bronze QB and a bronze halfback, it's gonna be a long time till I win games. So I'm happy prestiging Dalvin. This is assuming I make the Super Bowl, but I feel great. We're playing really good Madden right now, honestly. And I'm a 90 overall. I said this before, we're in the same boat. I would take just about anything uh, offensive line, but I don't expect anything too crazy. I've never gotten this one. This is one of those new things I put on the wheel when I was on that flight to win $100,000. <laughs> All offense, random scroll. We sort by time remaining, we click type, all offense. I'm gonna randomly scroll here. This could be an absolute dog shit player. It could also be like 94 Chris Cooley, as you can see. I'm gonna shut the eyes real tight. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. And now I'm scrolling and I'm gonna stop on one, two, three. <laughs> you guys are getting insanely lucky or the spin isn't that good. First spin, kind of cheeks, I'm not gonna lie, but you know what, it'd be like that sometimes. The second spin is rolling right now and it looks like we're gonna land on one, you know what, good. Actually, this is really good. I can rest in between push-ups, but my knees can't touch. Thousand coins per push-up, and I'll most likely spend every coin on a right tackle, and that'll be awesome going into this game. Also, I know you guys haven't seen that yet. That is a sneak peek on a literally insane $10,000 NFL mystery box opening. Yeah, Pristine Auction decided to up the ante, and we did it. You'll see that. You'll see that in two days, Sunday. 1K per push-up. Holy shit. I'm Rusty, bro. In my prime live streaming days, dude, when you guys would make me do like a million, I could probably get to like 65. I hit 50. I know every single comment is gonna say I only did 49 though, so I'm just gonna go with 49,000 since I already know what you're gonna do. You probably already commented that shit before I even said it. I like Orlando Brown. Let's go Orlando Brown. It doesn't, I'm sure it doesn't actually matter. All right, Orlando Brown is in. We're still 90 overall, but that's much better. Yeah, Joe Thomas, Thune, Randall Linder, Wyatt Teller, Orlando Brown's an awesome offensive line. We're gonna kill it, dude. We're gonna, we're gonna kill it this game. We're gonna get, we're getting another dominating win and we're going to Super Bowl. I'm gonna be honest. I, I don't know how much effort I'm gonna put. I almost should change the challenge wheel. One second, one second. Can't scramble first quarter. We'll see how the game's looking if I decide to do that. But honestly, if you guys wanna give me some suggestions on how to do the challenge wheel, cause the challenge wheel is so helpful when my team's bad, but when it's playoffs and my team is good, there's almost no incentive for me to do the challenge wheel cause I just wanna win and a pack isn't gonna help my team that much. So maybe I change the challenge wheel for the playoffs somehow. I'll see if I can do it.
one more win to make the Super Bowl. Let's do it, boys. Tyreek, Buda Baker, Aaron Donald, what you got, my guy? Cromartie, Brian Finner, and Buda Baker. You know what? Reasonable. Honestly, the only times I really get scared is when I see 98 overall Sam Mills. Because that tells me 100% that you have played more than I have. Ever since the playoffs started, I've started every game. PA Crossers. I'm not going to go away from it now. I think my first play of last game, I sent Tyree Kill on this burner, and I just let him run loose. Let's see if it happens again. Oh, it does not. Can I throw that to Y? Set your feet. Throw it. Let's go. Steve Smith. God, this play is goaded. Now, last game, I also went to inside zone second. So let's let's uh, keep up with the trends. Yeah. Maybe I should develop my own playbook instead of just doing what I do every time. How about that, Matt? All right, I'm actually just going to block Hawkinson, the slant Julio. Let's see how this looks here. OK, so D-line user. Pretty much just makes my day. We should be able to deliver a beautiful ball to Julio. Wait, where, where, what's it say? Yup, it's NFC Championship. Look in the bottom right. It's actually an NFC Championship game. That's awesome. All right, we're gonna go back to inside zone. The only reason I'm doing that is because I want to chew little clock so this first quarter can be over so that I have my, my challenge already completed. I'm actually gonna run this right side. I don't often run stretch right side. Okay, Delvin! That's what I need. That's what I need, Delvin. Hell yes. All right, third and four, we know he's D-line usering. What if we just hit Tyreek Hill in the back of the end zone? Let's see it. Go, Tyreek. Oh, he would have been there. Yes, Steve Smith, go! Yes, sir! Let's run this with Dalvin Cook. Ooh, he knows. He knows I'm running it, but I'm doing it anyway. Can you stop it? That's the question. He can. I didn't even get a single yard. Four rushes, six yards, Dalvin. Not exactly having the day we're going for. 100% feel like Tyreek Hill's a touchdown here. Is he? Yes. Wow, I got kind of scary there for a second. I'm just gonna hand off Dalvin. He's gonna get this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir! Eight to zero! Big play call in the NFC Championship. Oh my God, I'm feeling so good. Excellent start. He gets ball at half, so that's never fun. We gotta see how he is on offense. Look at this defense, dude. This is one of the best defenses I've ever had. This is a God Squad defense. Lawrence Taylor, Ray Lewis, Jamal Adams, Aaron Donald, Khalil Mack. All right, he's gonna go with a counter run to start out. I'm just an idiot and didn't make that tackle. Okay, an actual pass. <laughs> Look at both of them, bro. Look at both those gods. I'm gonna blitz Buda Baker with the rest of them. And I got defense here. He barely gets it off. Gigantic hit. Let's go. He's got a Tom Brady QB. No way, no. I ain't losing to Tom Brady QB. All right, we're gonna go Buda Baker again. I'm looking for the same route. Ooh, he just throws underneath. Make that tackle. Big tackle. Fourth and three. He's going for it. He's gonna throw underneath. He dropped it and we lit him up. This game is over. You ever gotten a man to rage quit an NFC championship, work his ass off to get here and then rage quit? Okay, good. Read Papa Me, because I almost kept that and probably would have fumbled. Definitely going chew clock here, especially with him getting the ball at half. I just want to chew this clock out, take my two possession lead, and walk into halftime. We're going for the dub here, ladies and gentlemen. I run Ohio spacing, Julio underneath. He's still in a cover three. Pretty much running cover three every play. So one of these two gentlemen will be very open. Yep, there's Julio. Just go get a yard. I could pretty much throw a touchdown against a cover three on any play that I choose, but I don't really want to score this fast. See, like right there, like Julio is basically a touchdown. Metcalf's basically a touchdown. Metcalf, will you come down? Ah, I can throw this. Oh, wait, maybe not. Oh! Come on! That's DK Metcalf, baby! He's fucking gone. He's gone. That is a rage quit into the Super Bowl. Have you ever seen that? That really just happened, bro. That really just happened? Honestly, I'm just sorry that you guys couldn't see more content there. That is unfortunate. All right, so we got Rage Crew Wheel here, and I get one pack from the store. Let's see what you got. One from his top three. What was his top three? I think his number one was Antonio Cromartie, wasn't it? I'll take his Antonio Cromartie and I'll put it in for Jalen Johnson. This is a nice little extra push for the Super Bowl here. I'll just give him an acrobat and sprinter and that should be all we need. I, I kind of want to wait until hopefully the Christmas stuff drops to record the Super Bowl, but uh, I think I have to record it right now, dude. I'm too in my own head. I'm too geeked. I can't wait this long to record the Super Bowl. I'm gonna record it right now. You're gonna see me in the same outfit because I'm going straight into the Super Bowl, baby. Wish me luck! We get our prestige though. We get to prestige one player right now. I am between Buda Baker and Dalvin Cook. All right, boys. 
I'm sorry we had a rage quit. The next video I will see you in is the best of all time. It's the Super Bowl. I love you. I'm gonna record that right now because I gotta do it. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.